And if everybody would like to take their seats. Staff, if you would like to sit with your guilds, that would be wonderful. And once we have our wonderful K-2 sitting down as well, we're going to be ready to start. So good morning, everyone, and welcome to Guild Drama. I'm Kate Clinch, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you here today and to hand over right now to the lovely Mrs. Jo Weisel, who is our Guild Drama Coordinator for 2021. Thank you, Mrs. Clinch. Well, what a day. Isn't it lovely to actually not have any rain today? I think it's a good day to do Guild Drama. So welcome to Guild Drama 2021. A special welcome to our members of College Council joining us on our live stream and to our principal, Mrs. Taylor, Mr. Clendinning, Mrs. Wake, and of course, staff and students. And of course, we cannot forget our lovely parents in the, uh, in the foyer or in the Astra Arts Centre live stream. Hello, and to our parents at home joining us on live stream as well. Welcome. Well, we thought last year's Guild Drama was an unprecedented event, but 2021 has proved even more challenging. This year, with the ever-changing restrictions, we have sought ways to still be able to present you with one of the highlights of our school calendar to close off 2021. While we wish you could be here with us, we hope you are sitting somewhere cool and comfortable and dry to watch our show today. Just in case you don't know who I am, I'm Jo Weisel, coordinator of all things drama and dance at PLC, and here to MC you for Guild Drama today. Now, while I may have coordinated this event with Mrs. Kate Clinch, our Head of Humanities, we must stress that what you're about to see today is completely student-led. All that you will see and hear on the stage this afternoon has been developed by our students. Usually, we would have all of our students involved from kindergarten all the way to year 11. Though this year, with all of its complicated restrictions, we've had to condense our Guild experience a little to just Year three to year 11. K to two is going to uh, do a separate performance for us very soon. The theme for Guild Drama this year was around a Wizard of Oz idea, with our production of Wicked, the prologue to the Wizard of Oz, being postponed and coming soon to March. Our junior school girls have been preparing dances and musical items with a Wizard of Oz theme. We thought it would be fitting to ask our teachers to vote on a quote from the classic film, The Wizard of Oz. Our theme was drawn out of a hat and is, there's no place like home. Usually, we would have drawn this out of a hat at the end of term three, giving year 11 the holidays to put some ideas together and have a draft script ready for the start of term four. Year 11 have done an outstanding job getting their scripts together with modifications after only receiving the theme at the start of week two this term. And I think that deserves a round of applause to year 11. <laughs> I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome our judges for this morning and to introduce them to you, though I dare say you may know them. Today for their swan song here at PLC Armadale, we have our beloved Mrs. Tia, our English teacher extraordinaire, as well as our, oh yes, let's give her a clap, absolutely. <laughs> as well as our dear Mrs. Patterson, our own tap dancing queen, Please, would you make them feel welcome? I'd also like to let you know that our wonderful PNF, as Mrs. Clinch has um, let you know already, that have a range of COVID safe, individually wrapped icy poles and bottles of water available for sale to students via the window on this side into the DKC. And for parents watching the video live stream in the Astra Arts Centre during in the foyer during the breaks between each guild performance. Please support our PNF. They even have the ability to play with your card today, uh, as they support as their support makes mornings like today possible for our junior school. To the PNF. <clears throat> but before we begin our guild drama performances, we have a special treat for you. 
As kindergarten, year one and year two have not been able to be fully involved in our Guild Drama experience this year, Mrs Dunham and the K-2 music class are going to set the scene for us today to transform our DKC into the setting for The Wizard of Oz. They're going to create a swirling, tumbling, exciting tornado. And don't worry, there won't be any moving uniform shops this time. They have been working so hard at preparing this for you today. Please would you welcome Mrs Dunham and K-2.
Wow, we okay to do. That was amazing. Really, really amazing. I think we might need you to actually create the tornado in my production of Wicked. That was incredible. So exciting. And I think the kind of tornado that we like because there's all the excitement and none of the damage. Yeah. So let's give Katie to do another round of applause. Well, thank you, Katie, too, so much for setting up a wonderful Wizard of Oz day for us. What a marvellous experience. That was just fabulous. Thank you. What a treat. Um, and thank you, too, Mrs Dunham. Well done. Wow. Well, continuing on uh, th of our theme of the Wizard of Oz, year, th year three to six have been working hard on a Wizard of Oz mashup. In our crea creative arts lessons together, we've been preparing for their involvement in our school production of Wicked. We initially had a plan to introduce the audience to Wicked through the Wizard of Oz mashup. As our production has been postponed to March next year, our junior schoolgirls will still have the opportunity to perform their mashup before some of the performances. Today, you get a sneak peek of our mashup of the Wizard of Oz. Special thanks to Mr. Jay for editing our music and to Miss Moore who rustled up a Dorothy costume in a flash. Please, would you welcome you three to six. could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I... an empty kettle he should be on his metal and yet I'm torn apart 
just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me a balcony above a voice sings low. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I could stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! 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 Dorothy, the wicked witch is dead. Congratulations, three to six. That was amazing. And can we have another round of applause for Mrs. Jo Weisel, who choreographed that for the girls and has worked so hard with them. Ah, oh, you're amazing, three to six. Well done. So exciting. Just think how amazing that is going to look with all of the amazing costumes in March. Wow. Let's give them another round of applause, I think. Yeah. But thank you, Junior School, for setting up our Guild Drama so well. Now, before we commence the main event, we will have a short little five-minute break just so our Junior School girls are able to get ready into their Guild Drama costumes. Don't move yet. So, for those people watching at home, um, please grab yourself a cup of tea, have a relax, have a cool drink, and uh, if you're standing or sitting in here, stand up, have a little stretch, and we will see you in five minutes. Junior school, you may go find your guilds, please.
Guild, this is your two minute call. Two minutes and we are back getting ready to start. Okay, guilds, you have one minute to be in your seats, please. One minute to be in your seats.
Okay, I think we are ready to start the main event. Okay, and we have our Wilkie parents over on this side ready to go. Hello, it is great to have you. Um, so what we're going to do, just a reminder that um, parents who are currently in the Astra Art Centre, so that you're able to see your daughters live for your guild, when the students exit their little bank of chairs, you may come and sit where your daughter sat to watch your daughters um, for today. Uh, just to explain our backdrop here, as you know, our guild drama tradition is to have a backdrop. Each guild will normally have a backdrop and they spend um, a long time getting it ready. And uh, we have some really amazingly talented girls um, in, in visual arts, um, thanks to Miss T, actually. Well done, Miss T. This year, because of the challenging restrictions, uh, we had to make sure that we weren't crossing cohorts when we were doing props, props and, uh, and painting of our backdrops. Uh, what we did this time instead, Miss T's idea again, she's a marvel, was that we have all of our four backdrops together. And they're in order. So our first one is Wilkie, our next one is Dixon, our next one is Hamlin, and then Lovell, in order of our performances today. So make sure that uh, well, you're looking at the right backdrop for the right performance you're going to see. I think it's actually great having them all there together because we can see them all the time. So well done, girls, on being able to once again cope and negotiate through that challenge. Um, well done to our painters. <laughs> on to our main event. Well, to start us off today, Wilkie will present us with their guild performance, The Greek Gods and the Mixed Up Madness. Maddie McCook has grown into her role as guild captain, passionately working out how best to work through the current restrictions so her guild can present you with a wonderful guild drama performance. Wilkie will journey through history where some Greek gods are being transported to Disneyland after a massive COVID safe sneeze, but somehow they managed to still be standing better than they ever did, traveling through Neverland, Montanui from Moana, and will keep trying until they find their way home. Because after all, there's no place like home. Please, would you welcome Wilkie. for Japan. Rain, you're up. Where is Rinka? Oh, we better find her. We don't want a repeat of Australia's droughts like last time she got lost. And make sure she doesn't try to fix it with floods again. Who will you entrust her to be the god of the rain in the first place? She can better make it on time for daily duty. As I don't call so, call so what what rings. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry guys, just overslept a little. Rain, what have we told you about setting a rain radar to wake you up? Now all the spring rain is going to be late. Oh no, did you say spring? You know my hay fever gets bad around this time. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, last time she sneezed she took out this teeny tiny town somewhere in Australia. Jeez, you really have it in for Australia, don't you? I didn't mean to, it was an accident. My intel tells me the tornadoes hit somewhere between Hollywood and Disneyland. We'd better head down to Earth to check out the damage. Oh, 
Oh no, it looks like a disaster. They really messed up this time. Lucky we're here to take care of things. Yeah, they can count on us. It must have really caused some damage. I mean, at least we're still standing, right? <laughs> Get at him, yo! Oh, also I lasso the sun. You're welcome to stretch your days and bring you fun. Also I harness the breeze. 
you're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees. So what can I say except you're welcome? For the islands I pulled from the sea. There's no need to pray, it's okay. You're welcome. Ha! I guess it's just my way of being me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, come to think of it. Kid, honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that was Maui just messing around. I killed an eel, I buried its guts. Sprouted a tree, now you got coconuts. What's the lesson? What is the takeaway? Don't mess with Maui when he's on a breakaway. And the tapestry here in my skin is a map of the victories I win. Look where I've been, I make everything happen. Look at that, me, mini Maui. Hey! Well, anyway, let me say you're welcome. Wonderful world, you know. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. You're welcome. Well, come to think of it, I gotta go. Hey, it's your day. of the water long as I can remember never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter but I come back to the water no matter how hard I try every turn I take every trail I track every path I make every road leads back to the place I know where I can See the line where the sky meets the sea
Now that I think about it, I haven't seen them around anywhere and they aren't hard to miss around here. Exactly. So we have to solve the riddles in our spell book to find the hidden mysteries behind them and put everyone back in their right movies. Or else you'll be stuck here forever. Forever? Martin Dewey needs me. Let's get this riddle solved then. <clears throat> okay, here goes. Here, Royalty, where's the key? Find it and the world search straight can be guaranteed. Hmm, so it's something to do with royalty. And whoever's royal must be wearing it. What does someone royal wear? Some jewels or... <laughs> I know! Royal people wear crowns. It must be a crown! What? Did I say something bad? Grab it! Hey! You cannot grab my crown! Hey! Get back!
Oh, this is too hard. We'll never figure it out. Come on, guys. All we need is a bit of faith, trust, and pixie dust. Pixie dust! Yeah, we've got it. It's pixie dust! Here, take this and make sure, um, make sure our pretty gets home nice and safe. Thanks for your help, guys. And don't worry. Everything will go back to normal soon. McCook, outstanding work. Thank you so much. Another round of applause for Wilkie. Just amazing. I, um, 
all through this week and last week, the girls, all year 11 girls, were just so organised and just continued to collaborate with their guilds so well. I kept waiting for a little bit of a bump in the road, thinking, right, we're going to have to solve a problem here. It just didn't happen. Uh, year 11, you just have done a marvellous job. Manny McCook, well done. Another round of applause, please. So exciting. So organised, so lovely to see such creativity. Well done. We're going to have a little five-minute break now so our Dixon group can get ready. Please support our PNF, and you may use your card. Go and see them. We'll see you in five minutes' time. And one minute, and we're going to be getting ready. So take your seats again, girls, as quickly as you can, as Dixon get ready to take the stage. If everybody could please take their seats, we are getting ready for our next guild to start. If everybody could please take their seats, that includes all of our girls. Find your seat, let's go. Okay, taking our seats please. Uh, I, I need to make a correction and I apologise. Um, there, are, there is not just one captain in Wilkie, there are actually two. Lucy Wright is a captain with Manny Cook. I'm sorry, Lucy, you have done so much work. Could we please give Lucy Wright a massive round of applause? 
buzzing around, doing a wonderful job as well. I apologize, Lucy. All right, let's get this show on the road. Our next group is Dixon. And welcome to our Dixon parents. It's great to see you. Led through a series of adventures, Mike Wachowski and Monsters, Inc. will teach you a number of very important life lessons, some of which are just how to be a princess, and who would win if ABBA and One Direction had a song battle. There's lots of dancing in this performance, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Maya has grown graciously in her role as a guild. Just turn the page, bear with me. As a guild captain, leading from the middle and bringing her guild around her with year 11 along. And she has motivated her guild through a very organised, calm and collaborative process. Claude, her deputy captain, has done a wonderful job with her junior school, really enjoying the time over there, spending time with them. Um, and that's something we didn't, I didn't mention before, actually. Usually, we would have all of our junior school together with our senior school for the whole Guild Drama rehearsals. But of course, because of our COVID restrictions, junior school have been over in the junior school for most of the rehearsal process. So Claudia has been over there looking after them and getting them ready for their rehearsal, and we're able to mash them up together today. So please would you welcome Dixon's Job Seeker. Authorised by Australian Government, Canberra. <laughs> and then Dorothy cried out, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. And as she was saying her final there's no place like home, she felt a swoosh. And as she opened her eyes, she saw her old house and her family coming towards her. Well, that's it for tonight, Olivia. You know you can always come home, right? Just like Dorothy. Yep, just like Dorothy. Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Mum.
Thanks, I think my outfit's pretty gorge. <laughs> Raquel, do you mean gorgelicious or gorgetastic? No, Barbie, I meant gorge. Are you learning foreign language? It's short for gorgeous! Wait, stop raising your voices. Did you learn nothing from last lesson? Uh, lesson for what? Our princess lessons, of course. And who are you? I'm Mike Kazowski. This is Olivia. She's showing me different types of jobs. But why did you bring him here? I brought Mike here to show him what princesses do. Could you guys please explain? I know a way we can show Mike what princesses do. Yes, it'll be great practice. No, Ken's not here yet. He said he'd come watch me. <laughs> I'm sure he did, Raquel. To be a princess is to know which spoon to use. To be a princess is a thousand pairs of shoes. Have your breakfast served in bed. Wear some diamonds on your head. Get a foot massage in Manny Patty too. To be a princess is to live a dream come true. Curtsy when princess come to call, wear a new gown to every ball. All through the day there's just one way you must behave. Pose with a feather in your hat, stretch on a golden yoga mat. Bend from above and always wear your gloves and wave. Shoulders back and tummy in and pinky out and lift the chin and Slowly turn your head from side to side Breathing gently, stepping lightly Smile brightly, not politely Do everything you do with pride Glide! To be a princess is to wear your family crest To be a princess is to always do your best Wow, that was amazing! You have to do so much as a princess It must be so stressful well, not really. Even though being a princess is hard work sometimes, we have our friends there to help us, and it's always fun when you're in a team. Exactly! When you have friends, you can work through almost anything together, as a team. Right, girls? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, it's hard to be a part of a team in the monster world because everyone can be so competitive and it's hard to make friends. I'm sure that's not true, but maybe this princess lifestyle isn't for you. Let's go. I actually have to go too. I need to go see Ken. I should go as well. I need to get back to my island. Okay then, pass this. Not necessary. 
Okay, you're on. Get ready to be destroyed. Remember, the winner takes it all. and I don't like performing in front of crowds. Oh. Well, before we go, is there anything else you might be able to tell Mike? He's having a hard time trying to find a job he's really meant to do. Well, we're from Sweden, but we weren't really famous until we came to Australia. So I guess sometimes you go places that you never expected to get to where you want to be. Well, I guess I never thought I'd be here. Okay, it was nice to meet you. We gotta go. Okay, okay bye! Abba, Abba.
are you doing on my set? Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Olivia. We were just passing by. I wanted to show my friend, Mark Wazowski, what you guys do for a job. So, could you please explain? Yes, of course. We're actors. We make Sorry, I'm late, like everyone. I was just getting my quacks and what did I miss? Come on, mate. You were late last time. And I've told you a million times before. It's pronounced croissant, not quaxon. Oh, sorry, Liam. Wait, I meant Luke. Wait, I meant... Shh! Stop arguing! Tom, since you just arrived, maybe you could explain to Michael Libby here what you actually do for a job? Of course! Well, I'm an actor. I play in loads of movies. I'm actually making one with Marvel at the moment. Ooh, you should see the plot twist. It's great. So MJ Maybe inspired. that's not the best idea. Hi, I'm Captain America. Chris, for the last time, you're not actually Captain America. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just getting into character. Anyways, we're actors. We make movies that people all around the world can enjoy. All of us here are part of the Marvel franchise. Some of us have our own movies. I have three. And then we all make movies together. Our movies are something that anyone from any age can enjoy, and we really love our jobs. Wow, that's amazing, but what do you guys do? Oh, we make the movies. We film, direct, edit, and so much more. Without us, movies like this would not be possible. That's super cool. It sounds like you guys need to work together a lot. Yes, we all put in a lot of work, and sometimes it can be a bit hard, but we love our jobs, and we feel very lucky to have them. So what's the most important part of your job? Well, we all have to work as a team, because otherwise we could never get anywhere. Work as a team. Right. Well, that does sound like keeps of fun, but I don't think I could do something like that. There's a lot of responsibilities, and I'm not very organised sometimes. But it was great to meet you. I hope the new movie's great, Tom. Thanks. How many more jobs do we have to look at? Just one more. I want to show you that people with any job can be friends. Diverse range of jobs I could think of. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, your name's Mike. Mine too. <laughs> well, that's nice, big Mike. But would it be okay if you could explain what you do as a job? Yeah, sure. Not you. Oh. oh gosh, I'm a chef. I cook food for people at the restaurant. I also like to cater for my friend. I'm like the best caterer. Yeah, she's really good. My job's a bit different. I'm a transponder. He's a transponder. I would know. What? No. Never mind. I just work with statistics and data. That sounds really difficult. I don't think I'd want to do something like that. Well, just because it's difficult doesn't mean you can't. I used to work at this cafe as a waitress, but not anymore. Thank, Thank goodness. goodness. <laughs> now, I work at this place called Ralph Lauren. I never thought I'd end up working there, but Surprising things can happen. And I'm a professional actor. I was on heaps of shows like Days of Our Lives. You might know me from TV. I was on shows like Days of Our Lives. I think my most famous character was Dr. Drake Amore from Days of Our Lives. Well, my occupation is a... Dinosaur. Um, close enough. I work at the New York Museum of Prehistoric History. I have a PhD, so I'm a doctor. A PhD? A PhD. Really <laughs> oh, nice. And what about you, Phoebe? Well, it's a really tough decision. So I'm good at everything. So I could have any job I want, but I'm a 
massage therapist. That's pretty cool. I'm also a professional guitar player and singer. You may have heard my hit song, Smelly Cat. It's amazing. I could play it for you if you want. Oh my god! No! what other jobs I could do, because I wasn't very good at mine. But it doesn't matter. Well, what do you mean? Well, when I met the princesses, they taught me that even though their work is hard, their friends help them through it. Abba in One Direction taught me that life is a journey and you'll end up where you need to be. Those actors taught me that you don't have to do everything by yourself when you're part of a team. And you guys taught me that even though I may not be good at scaring people now, I shouldn't give up and I should keep trying. Well, what does this all mean? It means that I can always go home to the monster world where I belong. And like you've all taught me, even though I'm not good at scaring people, as long as I'm surrounded by all of my friends, it doesn't matter. My mum said I could always go home, but I didn't know that she meant like this. We can make our house without wooden nails, and as long as we have the people who you love, you can get past tough times in the future. And you've all shown me that with a positive attitude, you can, you can have a good time and get through your problems. Get down tonight Cause it's always a good time Slept in all my clothes like I didn't care Hopped into a cab, take me anywhere I'm in if you're down to get down tonight Cause it's always a good time Well done.
Well, I think I don't think we would be mistaken in thinking that that actually brought so much energy to the stage. Dixon, so much commitment to your roles and character and what wonderful dancing. Another round of applause for Dixon. Thank you, Dixon. I feel like those lifelong lessons are actually really important. Thank you. All right, students, before you start moving. Up next will be Hamlin. So we're going to have another five minute break. So now is your time to go to the toilet and go to the PNF. We will see you in five minutes.
Hamlin, this is your two-minute warning before we start. If you could please start making your seats, audience, that would be great. Okay, I think we are ready to keep going. Hamlin is ready. Are you ready, Hamlin? Yes. Great. Well, Hamlin has shown great leadership in the way they've worked with their guild being organized with a completed script very early on. Naomi and Maddie have led their guild with understanding, grace and kindness and have remained calm and in control throughout. They have inspired their guild to do their very best. Once again, Hamlin will astound you with their fabulous choreography led by Naomi, Heidi and Maddie. Today, they are lost in Oz and they manage to embrace the Aussie Bogan. Just you wait for a special treat for Emma Thompson with her debut rendition of Home Among the Gum Trees. Please, would you welcome Hamlin. on my roll. Meow. <laughs> oh man, I'm shaking in my stripes. <laughs> Whatever guys, if you need me, I'll be over at the waterhole.
king of beasts with quite so little hair. I'm gonna be the main event like the king was before. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my bar. <laughs> Thus far, a rather an inspiring thing. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. You've run from one way to go, young master, if you think. No one's saying do this. Now, when I said that, no one's saying be no one's saying stop that No one's saying see here Now see here We don't run around all day Well that's definitely out We don't do it all by way oh, I just can't wait to be king oh, I just can't wait to be king oh, I just can't wait <laughs> you out. <sighs> Thanks. That means a lot. <laughs> By the way, where am I? Oh, mate, you're in Australia, home of the Great Barrier Reef, mullets, the Aussie snag, deadly wildlife, <sighs> and most importantly, every Aussie's fave icon, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin? Who in the merry meerkat is that? <coughs> Yes. Ah, squeeze poo. <laughs> Whack. Boom, boom, hit. Ah, hit. Ha, ha, woo. I'm shaking like a leaf. Whack. Whack. Whoa. run this joint. You don't want to get in the way of them. Mighty kick they both have. Well, you see, I'm here because, oh, look Steve, I don't even really know why I'm here. Apparently you got a box overhead in some place called Africa, then got shipped here to our beautiful country of Austria. It's Australia, you basket case. Whatever. Anyway, 
Long story short, our mate Simba here needs to head back to Whoopal for something and he only has 24 hours. I reckon we could give this bloke a hand. Yeah, I'm sure we could find something that could help us find a way home for this little ankle biter. Not little. Hmm, let's see. Where to turn next? Dance to a song about the home where the koala rests. Well, Steve-O, we all know koalas sleep in gum trees. It's actually a eucalyptus trees, but I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, what song talks about koalas in gum trees? Oh, well, Simba, none other than one of the greatest anthems this country has ever witnessed. Yes, go on. Home among the gum trees. But how do we know what dance to do? Look, folks, I hate to admit this, but I did a bit of dancing back in my day. And there's a dance I performed to this song at my Year 6 talent show. I reckon you lot just follow me, and we'll see what happens. Sounds good to me. I guess we'll try anything at this point. All right, now follow me. I've been around the world a couple of times and maybe more. Seen the sights, I've had the lights on every foreign shore But when my mates all asked me the place that I had I tell them right away I'll be telling Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of gum trees A sheep or two, a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front And an old rocking chair you can see me in the kitchen Cooking up a roast Or Vegemite on toast Just you and me in the cup of tea And later on we'll settle down And go out on the porch And watch the possums play Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep, a two, a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front and an old rocking chair. Well, did that do anything? I don't know. Let's just wait and see. Crikey! Where did that come from? Who cares? Let's read it. It says, if you want to find your way, find where footy is played. Well, does anyone know someone who could help us? Actually, I might know a guy. Oh, it's been really great to meet you, Steve, and the rest of you as well. You've been a big help. Yeah, who knew Steve could be like that? <laughs> Quit it, you lot. Simba, mate, it's been crackers meeting you. Your love for home and the community within, it's undeniable. It's clear you hold values up such as integrity, humility, respect and self-discipline, <laughs> which are all the characteristics that make up one mighty fine person, if you ask me. Or <laughs> fine in your case. Oh, thanks, Steve. That means a lot. Hey, why don't you come with us? Sure, mate. Why not? I love myself a good adventure. All right, we're all set. Let's hope this works. All right, let's hit the road before it's too late. <laughs> Wait, you're not aware. That piece of paper could be good use to us. It's another 
says, to get your next clue, you gotta do a groove to the Eagle Rock tune. <laughs> All right, boys, let's think. By golly, I think I've got it. Well, spit it out. Eagle Rock. Oh! oh. May as well give it a try. surrounding us and we know you have a family in Africa to get home to. Don't worry mate, we'll do everything we can to get you home. After all, well ACDC, don't forget, it's a long way to the top, especially if you want to rock and roll if you get what I mean. Oh, thanks guys, it means a lot. I'm a big fan. Look, I've even got tattoos of all you boys. Simba! <laughs> Wait a second. You boys look familiar. Didn't you drop old bug Simba off to us? Yeah, that was us. And 
Now I've been set back here with this box. Simper, it says to Pride Rock. Oh, that's your home, isn't it? It sure is. I can't believe I get to go home. I can't thank you guys enough. It's our pleasure. Not you, Nick and Poop. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, Mo, Damo, you've helped me along this whole journey. And I couldn't have done it without you. Anytime, mate. We'll miss you, big guy. As much as I love it here and as much as I'll miss you all, I have to get back to Pride Rock and save my friends and family from Scar. After all, there is no place like home. You're dead on, mate. I couldn't agree with you more. All right, back in the box you go. Australia really is a crazy place. I've only been here for a short while, but this place has already started to feel like home. Anyway, I'll hopefully see you all soon. All right now, ta-ta, back to Africa. <laughs> I can hear a voice from the other side of the room It says, yeah, I live a lie cause I like it more than the truth to fall absolutely loved about that one, Hamlin, is that every single person in your guild was having so much fun. Big round of applause again for Hamlin. Thank you. <clears throat> Personal highlight was Emma Thompson singing. 
absolutely loved it. All right, we are almost ready for our last performance. So, Lovell, please take your five minutes. Everybody else, have a little stretch of your legs, go to the bathroom. Last chance to support our PNF, so please go and see them. We'll see you in five minutes.
This is your one minute warning. We'll be starting with Lovell in one minute. Please head back towards your seats. Thank you, everyone. It is time to take your seats. Are you ready, Lovell? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you are. Well done. You waited so long. Here we are. Through tennis, Aladdin, the Wiggles, and a wish that went wrong. Lovell has a performance for you that you won't forget. Polly has stepped up to the challenge of guild leadership with poise and aplomb. She has motivated her junior school students as they settled into life in the dance studio for their rehearsals. Get excited for a fabulous way to end our guild drama presentations. Lovell's A Wish That Went Wrong. an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers on his chin again. Along came the wind and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers on his chin again. Along came the wind and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Channel 9 News. 
Today we take a glimpse in the year's most famous summer camp, Camp Walden, and the annual fencing battle. Later on, we have a special interview with Serena and Venus Williams as they battle it out on the Australian Open. But first to Camp Walden. Behind me in the ring, I have two fierce competitors as they are in the annual fencing competition. Let's see where they go first. They might as well give up now! Your dream! I've been saying this my whole life! Looks like it's getting heated out there. I'm just like you, you're just like me It's something anyone can see A heart that beats, a voice that speaks the truth Yes, I am a girl like you Melts my heart. <laughs> Let's take a moment to reflect. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. All right, girls, time to move on to your next activity. Annie, station one. Annie, what are you doing? Station one. Annie, I don't want to have to ask you again. Uh, sir, I mean, um, sir. Um, hello? There's two of us. Okay, camp leader, I guess we'll get into our groups then. You know what, Hallie? There's no point doing this stupid summer camp. I don't know my dad, and you don't know your mum. I know. I wish there was a way to see what our parents were like. about to grant the girls three wishes to find out about their parents' past. Let's see where he leads them first. Now are you ready? Yeah! You've never had a friend like me. Working with uh, but Alibaba, he had them 40 feet. Shahrazad, he had a thousand tails. But master, you're in luck because up your sleeves, you got a brand of magic never fails. You got some power in your corner now, heavy ammunition in your camp. You got some punch my sand. And how? All you gotta do is rub that lamp And then I'll say, Mr. Man, what's your name? Whatever, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, I'll jot it down You ain't never had a friend like me You ain't never had a friend like me Oh! Uh. This the big part, watch out! This the big part, oh! Do your friends do this? Do your friends do that? Can your friends fool this? How did they never have? You ain't never had a friend like me. What am I going to do now? Um, hello? Well, if you guys are going to help me, Hallie's going to have to find me herself. I don't make the rules, sugar. 
members of the Wiggles has come down with a life-threatening condition. Some may know it as coronavirus. Further tonight, Hallie performs for the Wiggles in his debut appearance on ABC for Kids. Will this be her new career path? Find out after the break. Now over to you, Rhonda, at the Australian Open. Thanks, Rick. I'm here with Venus and Serena Williams as they battle it out in the Australian Open. Serena, what can you tell us about the match? Look, Rhonda, I'm feeling like I got the upper hand this tournament. Venus is starting to show her age and having won 23 Grand Slam single titles, I don't even need good luck. Well, Serena, I'm glad you've got enough confidence for the two of you. Venus, do you think you've got what it takes to beat your younger sister? Well, Wanda, it's easy enough to align your grand slams. I got the skills, determination and effort. Need to come out top tonight. Well, thank you and good luck to you both. Back to you, Rick. Thanks, Wanda, for the insightful interview. Now we take a glimpse at our rising star, Hallie Parker and her debut single, Hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. to wishes to genies. We really are in an unprecedented world. Up next, we have a, a sneak peek into the Spice Girls. Yellow man in Timbuktu Colorful both me and you Kung Fu fighting Dancing queen Tribal spaceman And all that's in between Shake it to the bottom, 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 shake it to the bottom,
of Jeannie, Aladdin, and Hallie. Looks like Hallie might need to be more careful than she thought. Stay tuned. Uh, this looks like the next place on the map. This is not working. You're never going to find Annie. Looks like you've lost your form, Jean. No, don't say that. Yes, we will. Come on, guys, let's go find my sister. Yeah, yeah, we'll catch up in a sec. This is working, Aladdin. She's never going to find her sister. All we need to do now is get up that map. We need to get rid of her before someone catches on to our plan. <laughs> breaking news! I repeat, breaking news. My suspicions were correct. Genie is evil. He never wanted them to find each other. Looks like his deceptive blue curves have fooled us all. I might need to call in some reinforcements. Rhonda, can I have a second party here? Look, Jeannie, I don't know how else I can help you. I had to convince Serena and Venus to have an interview with me, and I'm not even a qualified reporter. As long as you can keep that Richard guy off our case, you can get your three wishes as agreed. Fine, I'll keep Rick. Rick, out of the way. I'm truly lost for words. I truly am. Whoa, where are we? We need help Abby, silly. Oh, yeah! I think we're in some sort of wish thingy. Annie Dahl, looks like you need some help finding your sister. Bought some food to make you feel better, sweet cheeks. <laughs> what, did you make those yourself, Mum? Everyone outsources their pies and sausage rolls these days, Kim. <laughs> yeah, I've lost my sister Hallie. We got separated. I don't know what I'm going to do. Can you help me? The Spice Girl sent us to help, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Hallie and I were just trying to find out about our parents' past, and then we got separated. I don't know what to do. Sly, I'm telling you, sly. Come on, they were trying to sabotage you. That's why it wasn't working. They were working against you the whole time. Wait a minute. The lamp's gone. Hallie! Is that you? Annie! Oh, yeah. Um, you ran away from me. Uh, no, I didn't. Calm down, party people. Aren't you two just happy you're back together? Yeah, yeah I guess. guess. Well, 
Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a night it has been. Today we began at Camp Walden, where the long-lost sisters, Hallie and Annie, met before we devastatingly separate again. Then a big, mean, blue genie came along with his friend Aladdin, pretending to help Hallie find her sisters. However, he ended up sabotaging their entire plan. Would you believe it? He was going to rip up her map. Hallie was the wasn't the only one deceived tonight. I'll be withdrawing Rhonda's contract immediately. Later, the Spice Girls located Annie and arranged a flash mob of the single most iconic group ever to find Annie. And there we have it, folks, a wrap on our Friday evening. And what an exciting one at that. And as we always say, there's no place like home. I'm Rick the Reporter, live from Channel 9 News. Oh, yeah! Catch a moment, but it slips through my hands. All I see are long days and dark nights. I'm lost without you, but I'm on my way. So hold tight. I'm coming home tonight. Meet me in the valley where the kids collide into the like a sunset skyline to let you know you're almost home so breathe in and hold tight i'm coming home tonight meet me in the valley where the kids collide into the morning tonight my town is coming alive i'm coming home
I am very, very glad that I am not a judge today. Mrs. Patterson and Mrs. Tier. I think you have a bit of a tricky job ahead of you. So, I think let's give our, all of our guilds, Wilkie, Dixon, Hamlin, Lovell, all a massive round of applause. This is such a, such a unique PLC Armadale event and it is an absolute highlight. Where else can we see such collaborative uh, work between students, between Year 3, usually kindergarten, all the way up to Year 11, and Year 11 having such a fantastic opportunity of leadership and doing such a marvellous job at it. So well done, girls. Yeah, to Year 11, Year 11, well done. So it is time now for our judges to deliberate. They do have a hard job ahead of them. So while this is happening, we are going to get some lunch. Uh, the PNF is still open. Uh, if you would like to go and purchase some things from them. For our students, uh, you have wraps waiting for you in the dining hall. So that is your lunch today. We are going to go in backwards order of your performance today, where you will need to go Lovell, then Hamlin, then Dixon, then Wilkie, in that order, um, to go to the dining hall um, to collect your wrap. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Go to the dining hall, get your lunch, nothing else to say. No, actually, no, no, whoa, whoa, sorry, that's my part. I'm handing over to Mrs. Clinch now, sorry Lovell, hang on, hang on tight. So let's think about how the rest of the afternoon is going to look as well. So senior school girls, uh, you need to stay with your guilds during this next little part as well. Uh, Cater to you get to get your lunch first because you have been an amazing audience down here and after performing so long ago and sitting so very well, I think Cater to just need a round of applause for being awesome. <laughs> so it is just after one o'clock now. Lunch is going to go until 1.45. At 1.45 then, all students and our staff as well are going to do some cleaning up around the school while our judges do some more deliberation. Uh, you have a couple of things that you need to make sure of. You need to make sure that your guild room is spotless and any rooms that you have used during this week are also spotless. We need anything that needs to go into the skip to be sent to the skip, so any props that can't be uh, recycled in any way needs to go to the skip and others to the cardboard skip. Uh, we also need to have all costumes back to the drama room. You need to change into your guild uniform for the rest of the afternoon. So please take off your costumes and put on your guild uniform so you're ready to come back here. Uh, and this is the important part. There are major guild points attached to this cleanup. And let me tell you, the guild point tally is looking very, very close. So we've had amazing performances. There's lots of guild points attached to those, but there's also guild points attached to this cleanup. So make sure you do it really, really well. Uh, Miss Templeton has some special points to award for the art room in particular. So please make sure that the art room is also spotless by the end. We need to be back here seated for 2.15 so that we can start our judging by 2.30. So lunch now, 1.45, clean up begins. Girls, enjoy your lunch and we will see you back here soon. Parents, just before all of these girls go, the live stream for the results will be available to you at 2.30 as well. Thank you everyone, we'll see you soon.
Through your days, got your head hung low, your skies a shade of gray, like a zombie in a maze. You're asleep inside, but you can shake awake, cause you're just a dead man walking, thinking that's your only option. But you can flip the switch and brighten up your darkest day. The sun is up and the color's blinding, take a world and redefine it. Leave behind your narrow mind, you'll never be the same. Come alive, come alive, go and light your light, let it burn so bright, reach it up. To the sky, and it's open wide. Your legs fire and the world becomes a fantasy, and you're more than you could ever be. Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. And you know you can't go back again to the world that you were living in. Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. So come alive. I see it in your eyes.
found a love for me darling just dive right in follow my lead I found a girl beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone waiting for me cause we were just kids when we fell in not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes you're holding mine Baby, I'm between my arms barefoot on the cross or listening to our favorite song when you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath but you heard it darling you I found a woman stronger than anyone I know. She shares my dreams. I hope that someday I'll share her home. I found a love to carry more than just my secrets, to carry love, to carry children of our own. I think it's time for a drum roll, please. Well done, PLC, on an amazing clean-out job. But Mrs. Clinch and I are going to give you a round of applause. But she can do it as well. Yeah, and everyone else. Well done. It is time to do our award ceremony. But before we do that, we have something special first. 
This year has continued to bring more challenges and changes to our world, and some people are moving on from PLC for varying reasons. The Eastman family are headed down to the south coast, taking with them our Pathways champion, Mrs. Eastman. Mr. Davidson is also taking a little break from classroom teaching next year, but still hopes to be PLC's number one supporter on the soccer fields, as well as continuing on with our international students. After 19 years service at PLCA, dear Miss T is heading to the big smoke of Sydney for a change of pace. We wish you all the very best on your moves and from all of us, we bid you a very fond farewell. Girls, can you please give three cheers to our departing staff. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. And as has become PLC tradition over a number of years now, we would love to sing a song for every staff member that's leaving, but alas, this year being the year that it is, we cannot do this. There are two very special staff members who need a song though, a song all of their own. These two staff members have been with us here at PLC for many years now, and have had a positive impact on so many of us, staff and students alike. So, to Mrs. Shirley Tier and to Mrs. Jan Patterson, this one is just for you. We may not all be able to sing together this year, but we think we might just have just the right song for the afternoon. The impact you have had on this school cannot be underestimated. Girls, could you all please stand? Mrs. Tier and Mrs. Patterson, if you could just come to the front here. Just right where you are is perfect. I would like to introduce you to our two Alphabas and our two Galindas for one very special tribute.
Thank you, girls. You can take your seats. Uh, we'll just give our judges a moment to recover. <laughs> yeah, and me. I'd like to invite Mrs. Taylor to the stage for one moment now as well. Uh, part of our process uh, for Guild Drama is that each of our Guild captains gets to have some awards for the girls in their guilds. So I would like to invite Mrs. Taylor to present these. These girls were selected by their guild leaders to acknowledge their contributions. So here we go. We will start with Lovell. Our junior school award for a contribution to your guild goes to Meg Earl. For our senior school, uh, our co contribution to your, your award, sorry. Oh, contribution, I'm still emotional after <laughs> Mrs. Patterson and Mrs. Tia. Oh, wasn't that amazing? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, senior school. <laughs> I'm back now. Okay, let's start again. Senior school, Lovell, your contribution to your guild is Charlotte Baker. Well done, Charlotte. The award for your contribution to your guild, Wilkie, with the junior school, goes to Izzy Forrest. Well done, Izzy. And our senior school, Emilia Wake. On to Hamlin. The award for junior school goes to Miller Vanzella. <laughs> and our senior school to Audrey Tai. Well done, Audrey. And to Dixon, the Junior School Contribution Award goes to Amal Shahid. And for Senior School, Bella Waters.
Well done, girls. A round of applause for our contributors to their guild. Thank you. And now is the time. Please, could I invite Mrs. Tier and Mrs. Patterson back to the stage to give our award ceremony for Guild Drama this year? Thank you <laughs> so much. We have had a wonderful afternoon. There's no place like home. There's no place like PLC Armadale, we think. It has been just so much enjoyment for us. What a wonderful way for us both to finish up today. Um, we were able to relax and just go with the flow, laugh at the jokes. There were some hilarious moments in there. And uh, altogether, we thought it was an amazingly high standard such a difficult year. Now we've, we've got four awards to make first before we give you our overall judgment. And the first of these is the award for set design, props, costume and backdrop. They all come under the one umbrella there. We had to argue quite a bit because there were things to be said about all four guilds for this. And in the end, it came down to one factor that made the final difference, and that was amazing backdrop number three, <laughs> the ACDC backdrop, which we just thought was artistically stunning. And uh, that was the one that tipped, in this case, Hamlin over the line. So. <laughs> And I believe that Zoe Martin and Audrey Ty were very, very involved in the production of that wonderful backdrop. Well done, girls. Now we're on to the Music Award. How difficult. We had to look at the choice of songs and their appropriateness to the theme and the way they were used. And everybody was neck and neck until Katie Alcorn sang and it tipped to Wilkie. These are all the stars. So the next award goes for dance. And once again, lots of argument because so many different strengths in the different guilds and some absolute expertise and fabulous hijinks going on there on the stage. We were so impressed. Finally though, we've given an award to Lovell, especially for their energy in their dancing. And special commendation to Polly for the wonderful leadership when she is the only leader. It's so lovely to have a deputy, but she's done a wonderful job. Our next category is an award for acting. And we had so many people on our list of oh, strong characterization, wonderful gesture, uh, total involvement in the character and ultimately for Dixon it was the outstanding work of Belle Freeman and Maddie Marston <laughs> that clinched it for your guild. Mm -hmm. 
I get to make the penultimate announcement this afternoon in terms of these awards. And uh, that is the award for the best performance on the day. And, and I have to say that we have shown amazing ability to be objective, considering how passionate both Mrs. Patterson and I are about our own particular guilds. We have had to step right back, be really cool, calm and collected about this. And this afternoon, we have given the best performance on the day award to Hamlin. <laughs> Now calm down, we have one more announcement to make. We don't know who the overall winner is yet. That was just the best performance on the day. <laughs> but do not leave the stage because you also, Hamlin, were the overall winners. <laughs> And congratulations to those leaders because it was the dynamic of the rehearsals beforehand which counted for 20 of the marks that were given. And this was a very, very special effort. All the leaders did a wonderful job, but this, this group particularly gelled and cooperated incredibly well. And they deserve, uh, that is what made the ultimate difference because performances across the board were pretty marvellous everywhere. But it's your dynamic and how you work as a guild that counts a lot. Congratulations. And just before our judges leave the stage and before we have our cheers for our guilds, I would like to very, very warmly thank Mrs. Jan Patterson and Mrs. Shirley Tia for their excellent judging this afternoon. This has been such a privilege for us and I know you've been waiting to do this for years. So this is the time and thank you all very much. Girls, three cheers for the judges. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! And thousands. And these as well. Let me take your seats, thank you. And I would now like to hand over to our principal, Mrs. Nicola Taylor, for the big award of the afternoon, the Guild Cup. Drum roll, please. Well, what an afternoon it has been. And I concur with the comments that have all been made previously that it was outstanding girls to see how collaboratively and cooperatively you worked together. Thank you, despite all of the restrictions of having to rewrite scripts, of having to accommodate three to six being performing separately to the senior school, of having to have uh, cohort sections within, and then at the very last minute when the guidelines change yet again, being allowed to have people do live performances. And you accommodated those, all of those changes and disruptions with such good grace and good humour. The Guild leaders are definitely to be congratulated across the senior school and the junior school for leading by example, particularly in this year's Guild drama. So I would like to congratulate our Guild leaders once more.
But it does come to the time of recognising the overall winner of the Guild Cup for 2021. Now, bearing in mind that pretty much from week four of term three, not many of our usual things could happen in our usual way, Guild points, and there were thousands of Guild points gathered for swimming, carnival, K-12, to the war cries at the carnival, the athletics carnival, for the marching, for the marching hats, as in all girls had their hats, cross country, the inaugural Guild Music Lip Sync, which was heaps of fun, and thank you for setting a new tradition. We love new traditions starting in a school that's 134 years old. The cleaning up of the art room in readiness for this afternoon's judging, the awarding of merit cards, and the removal of points for demerits, and fortunately there wasn't too many of that. And then Guild Drama this afternoon, as well as some extra points for citizenship that were awarded throughout the year. Across the four guilds, there was actually only a 10 point difference between the first and second guild. And that is almost as unheard of as Hamlin winning Guild Drama. <laughs> I say that with all due respect, Hamlin, and thank you. You were the one that pointed that out to me, Naomi, that it was 2009 was the last year that Hamlin won Guild Drama, and I think that deserves an extra round of applause as well. So we really do love starting new traditions, however, and we'll keep that one up, perhaps, Hamlin. So the overall winner of our uh, Guild Cup this afternoon is actually Hamlin. <laughs> but I didn't have the coin tally. Doesn't matter, it was a big difference. Lani. Down you come, Lani. Well done, Hamlin. We do have some other thank yous to people. If the unsung heroes, once again, without them, this show does not go on. So to our school maintenance team, I'm not sure if you're here, but to James, Greg and Paul, they put many hours into making this event come together and it is much appreciated. Do we have any of our boys here? No, we will give you your chocolates later. Uh, to Chris Estridge, thank you so much for being such a calm and capable sound technician, making everything run smoothly from the back of the room, the video relay, the stream into the Astro Arts Centre, the sound, the music, the microphones, thank you. You are amazing and your efforts have really helped us today, thank you so much. Um, under Mr. Estridge's care and, um, and instruction, we have the amazing STEM team who have worked so well today. To Anviti, Alana, Kimberly, oh, help me out Mr. Estridge, Scarlett, thank you, um, who have done such a wonderful job today. Alana particularly uh, did the sound technician on her own for three of the guilds. So to the four girls, come and collect some chocolates to share. Thank you, girls. Well done.
And of course, um, we can't forget Mr. Greg Eikhoff. Thank you so much for coming today and for helping out with all things technical and with some wonderful feedback for us for how we can make our professional production even more professional next year. So thank you for giving up your time today and for helping us so much. Thank you. And just as a little thing, before I hand you over to Mrs. Taylor, um, it's Mrs. Patterson's last day here today um, as um, our lovely teacher, although she will be here for speech and drama. Just as a little fun thing, I wanted to share with you that the dress I'm wearing today, I wore especially today for Mrs. P, because it was hers. And she wore this when she was 25, and used to go to, she was the belle of the ball. It was her favourite dress, and I feel honoured to wear it, particularly because she said it spins really well. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs P. I'd like to... One more of cheers. One, oh, yes. One more load of cheers. Yes. For who, Mrs Clinch? Well, we haven't done the cheers for Hamlin and for the other guilds. So, guilds, leaders, this is your turn in, yeah, for the Guild Cup. Uh, let's go across the room. Wilkie, you're first, go. Well, girls, on behalf of Mrs Wake, our head of junior school, Mr Clendinning, our head of senior school, all of the staff, I would like to thank you for giving us more than just a reason to turn up at work each day, but for filling those days with delight, with en energy and enthusiasm, with some challenges thrown in just to keep us on our toes, but always with that PLC Armadale sisterhood spirit firmly on display. Girls, thank you for making 2021 another very memorable year in the life of our college. When we return in 2022, we will be celebrating 135 years of being an all-girls school e educating in the regional area of New South Wales. And so there are some special things planned for another celebratory year. But I look forward to the contribution of our guild leaders and our SRC so that student voice is heard loud and clear in that coming year as well. And so without further ado, thank you to the parents that are still here. Thank you for those that have joined us via the live stream for your ongoing commitment to the education of your daughters. We do count it a privilege and thank you for that trust. And I now would like to officially dismiss PLC Armadale for the end of our 2021 academic year. What happens now is you go to your lockers, please clean out the food scraps, then you make your way either to the car park or to the bus, depending on how you are getting home, and have a very blessed, happy and safe Christmas with your families and friends. And thank you, Maddie, because I was going to do that and forgot. So thank you so much for coming up and correcting that because in t indeed this afternoon is really a team and collaborative effort led by Mrs Weisel and Mrs Clinch, but with all of our Guild patron staff working closely with you girls. So I'm actually going to ask Wilkie if you would like to stand first, take up all of your belongings with you and make your way quietly out through the doors just so that we don't have crowding in the foyer and parents feel free to leave as well. 
and Dixon, if Dixon would like to stand and make their way out as well.